啊。Condolences, young man. You know I was your father's friend and business partner, so all I can say is my door is always open to you. No matter what your problems are, I'm always here to give you advice, especially financial. Thank you, Lord Welcome. That means a lot to us. If you'll please excuse us. Mr. Bancroft is waiting for us. Hmm. And so now we come to the codicil. I beg your pardon? Lord Sterling added a codicil to his will shortly before his passing. I shall read it to you in its entirety. <clears throat> My darling Cassandra, were it not for my unfortunate passing, I would never have wished for you to read this letter. Regretfully, I must now cast light on a shameful indiscretion of my youth that has developed into something of a millstone around my neck. This may come as an unanticipated blow to the temple for you, or it may not. You were always sharp as a whip, Cassandra. The truth is this. For as long as we have been married, I have been keeping another woman, Maggie Jarvis. Her name will mean nothing to you, but it might to Henry. He may well have encountered her on his travels to the Savannah, as it were. In any case, the quickening of my demise has held an inexorable mirror up to my life, and I have been forced to reflect. As a result, I have decided to cede Henry's portion of the estate to Maggie, including those assets that are in trust. Shall I go on? Mother. Right. Well, excuse us, why don't you? See you, Lady Sandra. So what did the rest of it say? Around 1,200 different permutations of I'm sorry. I mean, how about you? Did you know her? Don't be so obtuse. It's not who she was, it's what she was. That traitorous bastard! Like, Mother, I know it's a lot to take in. You don't know anything! Not the first thing! Henry, your father has stabbed you in the back, rifled through your pockets, and taken everything that is yours by birthright, and given it to that common whore! The fact that she is his mistress is frankly immaterial. To betray one's wife is inevitable. To betray one's blood? Absolutely unforgivable. Well, Bancroft said so we could fight it. And we will, we will. But first we have to find her. You still have your safari bursary? Yeah, yeah, uh, most of it. And now it's all I've got. 
Don't worry, darling. We'll, we'll soon get this mess sorted out. Well, where are we going to start? The letter said that you might have met her on your travels. How long have you got left? A fortnight. Hmm, not very long. We'd better get started then. I'll send for the car. Don't scowl. How much money do you have left? The top of my head, I'm not sure. You should have almost all of it. You've only been spending it on chicken nuggets and vodka, haven't you? Things like that? Yeah, I've probably got most of it left. Okay, you'll be fine then. We'd better get going then. Come on. See you soon, darling. Henry, my boy. Everything all right? Of course, Lord Oakham. Just some talk about rearranging assets. That's, uh, that's good to hear. Now, uh, did you get everything that you needed? I do hope so. Oh, gentleman never tells. Suffice to say, you might see me at the Royal Circus not too long from now. Well, I do hope um, my friend Gideon uh, left you in a good situation, you know, uh, financially sound. Of course. Please excuse me, there are some things I must attend to. Before you go, um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to offer you a, a junior position. You know, if, if you need the help, look, it's, it's entirely up to you. I really do have somewhere to be, Lord Open. Please excuse me. Look, Henry, this job offer is not going to be open for long, you know. Good evening, Francis. Going so soon, Sterling? Yes, uh, unfortunately, got to go back to the jungle. Many sights to see and all that. How has it been? Living with the great unwashed. Enlightening. Yeah, or a simple and quaint folk. Had any problems? None that I can't handle. What are you laughing at? We shan't talk about that. We shan't talk about that. Did my, my dad, did he, uh, did he offer you the job? Yeah, in fact, he did. You have me to thank for that. I do? Well, it was, it was my suggestion, of course. Well, I'm very grateful to you for that. Well, I, I guess I'll, I'll be seeing you at the funeral then. Yeah, I'll see you at the funeral. I'll see you then. <laughs>